Chris Turner here, firefighter and technical advisor with Brimstone Fire Protection. Today I'd like to talk about the Preventer line of fire blankets that are specifically designed to cover a lithium ion battery pack or battery module that's on fire to help contain the threat and to keep it from spreading. These heavy duty industrial type blankets contain multiple layers of fire resistant material to hold up to that intense heat created by direct contact with a burning battery module. Due to that heat, it's possible that the module will keep burning until all the battery cells are consumed, which will also create a high volume of smoke. Despite that heat and smoke created, a battery fire that is covered by a high quality fire blanket will be much more manageable than one left to burn freely in the open. There are a number of fire blankets in the market designed to be used in the event of a lithium ion battery fire. These blankets contain a wide range of materials and vary in thicknesses and weights. And because of these differences in materials and construction, some blankets are fairly permeable while others are quite impermeable. When placing a fire blanket in direct contact with a burning lithium ion battery, we have found that using a fire blanket that is somewhat permeable is advantageous because the blanket can act as a bit of a flame arrester, it can slow the velocity of the smoke coming from the battery, and it can prevent the buildup of flammable gases under that blanket. It's also important to note that many fire blankets, like those that are specifically created for electric vehicle fires, are not able to hold up to that intense heat of that direct battery to blanket contact, and therefore the blanket may actually have a spot where it burns through. The Brimstone line of heavy-duty Preventer lithium-ion battery fire blankets offers the thickness required for containing these battery fires while still providing the level of permeability desired. Through our testing, we've determined that placing a heavy-duty fire blanket in direct contact with a lithium-ion battery that's on fire and undergoing thermal runaway can create hot spots on the blanket which can in turn ignite the flammable gases being released from the burning battery. While these flames, called cold side flaming or edge flaming, can look intimidating, the important thing to realize is that the majority of the fire, jet type flames, and battery ejections are still being contained under that blanket. This makes the overall scene much safer, can help limit the fire spread, and can give time for employee evacuations as well as give time for the fire department to arrive. If there are staff on site who are trained and equipped to do so, it's quite easy to extinguish the cold side and edge flaming with a small amount of water from say a water misting fire extinguisher or even a garden hose, for example. So let's look together at what a burning lithium ion battery module might look like when it's on fire. As you can see from these videos, this burning lithium ion battery module, which is a 5.3 kilowatt electric vehicle battery pack can be extremely energetic, even when it's at less than 100% state of charge. This particular battery is at 85%. Notice the high volume of smoke, much of which can be toxic and or flammable. The test facility here has large fans in the ceiling to evacuate the smoke, but if a fire like this were in an enclosed or poorly vented space, the smoke could quickly build to the point where visibility would be severely limited and an explosive event might occur. Also notice the large flames, showers of sparks, and ejected batteries that are very common in these types of fires. Again, the test facility is a large open space made of concrete, but if these fires were left to burn freely, it's very likely that a fire will spread to other combustible materials nearby. So in those videos, we didn't do any sort of intervention with a blanket or any water to try to put those fires out. We simply were doing baselines to understand what a freely burning battery module would look like. In these tests, we took the same sort of battery module, 5.3 kilowatt module, these are charged to 75%, and we first let the battery burn freely for seven or eight minutes before we covered them with the blanket. This simulated the time to respond to an incident with either trained employees or with the fire department. For the module on the floor, we're using a heavy duty brimstone preventer lithium ion fire blanket that measures 10 feet by 10 feet. This would work for low tables, benches, pallets, or short stacks of batteries. When the module is on a cart or a higher table, we're using a heavy duty brimstone preventer lithium ion fire blanket that measures 16 feet by 16 feet. This is a 10 by 10 heavy duty blanket with an additional three feet of single layer fire blanket around the edges to help maintain good contact with the floor. In our experience, having three feet of ground seal is important to help limit the free oxygen underneath that blanket 
and to help contain the jet flames and those battery ejections that are going to be going on during that fire. And again, while the fire may persist the entire time under that blanket, we're going to see a much better result. Now let's move ahead a little bit in that evolution of those fires. You can see that the heavy duty blanket is doing a good job at controlling the fire, but since there is no true cooling going on, the batteries continue to thermally run away until the entire module is going to be consumed. Notice, however, that we're not seeing any sparks or flames or battery ejections which means that this fire is much more confined than it would be without the blanket and is therefore a safer and more manageable event. The fire is now much less likely to spread to other areas and can afford people the time needed to evacuate. Note that the amount of smoke being produced by the burning batteries is likely to be similar in volume than without the blanket. That said, because of the progression of the fire has been slowed somewhat, any venting that exists in the building can be more effective, and since our heavy duty blankets are permeable, they have a tendency to filter some of that smoke and greatly reduce its overall velocity. The room will likely therefore fill at a slower rate. Keep in mind that the smoke is still hazardous, so venting the room is recommended to avoid a potential explosion. It is also imperative that anyone in the room wear appropriate respiratory protection. When the heavy duty fire blanket is in direct contact with the intense heat of the burning batteries, it is possible for a hot spot to be created on the top of the blanket, which in turn may ignite the flammable gases being produced. Even though flames are present in these tests, the fire is still much more under control than a module left to burn in the open. In these tests, the blankets themselves are not on fire. It is the gas that is vented from the batteries that's burning. And once that gas is consumed, the fire will often fade and likely may extinguish itself. It's also important to note that even though it was a blanket hotspot that created the point of ignition, these blankets themselves were still intact after the test and no battery ejections ever escaped the blankets. When the fire department arrives, or if the facility has its own fire brigade, it may be desirable to extinguish any flames present on the blanket to help further limit any potential spread of the fire. Here you can see all of the cold side and edge flaming being easily extinguished with just a few ounces of water deployed from a misting water extinguisher. In these tests, no more than a half a gallon of water was used. The same could easily be done with a garden hose if one is available. The small amount of water needed to extinguish the flames means that the firefighters won't necessarily have to drag attack lines into the area, water usage will be much less, and water runoff can be almost non-existent. All these factors add up to a scene that is much easier to manage, contain, and clean up. Since the flames are being fed by the gases being released by the batteries, appropriate respiratory protection and other safety gear should always be used. So I hope that gave you some insight as to what you might experience if you had a lithium ion battery fire at your facility and what you might be able to do to help mitigate that fire with the preventer line of industrial heavy duty fire blankets. If you have any questions, please feel to reach out to us at any time.